In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the best way that I know how to defend the gun bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe and this way you'll always be up to date about the latest things happening here on our YouTube channel. Now if you want to go ahead and turn on the notifications, what that's going to do is it's going to tell YouTube that you would like to know whenever we release a new video so all you got to do to turn on your notifications is click the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right guys so today we're talking about defending gun bunch and i have a little bit of a um a little bit of a different style of defense to talk to you about today it's primarily centered around um the cover four show two but in a little bit of a different way kind of leveraging some of the culmination of everything that we've learned about how to defend formations like the gun bunch in madden 21 so we're going to dive in in just a second but really quickly if you did not know I actually have a full entire ebook on the 335 wide defense, and that is available in the description for just $15. You'll get a complete defensive tutorial uh, ebook strategy guide that basically walks you through step by step how to stop everything in the game from trip side in to bunch to eye close to strong close to um, to the goal line run to the to the every I mean, everything that you're gonna face. This is the number one defense in the community right now. It's the best defense we've been running it since June of 2020. So for almost a full year, we've been labbing and working out of this 335 wide style of defense. And so if you have not picked up that ebook yet, I wanna encourage you to do that. It's very, very effective. And a lot of people have been winning a lot of money and a lot of games with this defense. I guarantee you that you're gonna be a lot more effective in your money games, in your CFMs, and in weekend league if you get this defense. So if you haven't got it yet, it is available for you for just 15 bucks and there's a link in the description where you can pick that up and I'll also put it in the comment section for you as well. Okay guys, so we're talking today a little bit about the gun bunch. Now the audibles we're gonna set are the cover four show two and the mic blitz three, okay? As you can see here, and whenever we run three, three, five, part of the thing, part of the reason that makes it so good is you're able to get the best personnel in the field. You can get safeties at linebacker if you audible down from the 335 normal into the 335 wide. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now real quick here, these are my preferred adjustments against gun bunch. I like to put my flats at 25, my curl flats at 10. And the reason why I like to have the curl flats at 10, they will not necessarily absolutely stop flat routes. Okay, they won't absolutely stop flat routes but they will do a pretty dang good job against flat routes, okay? And so that's that's kind of the thinking behind that right there. We're gonna put them at 10 yards. They're gonna come up and tackle. If you have, if you're playing in Madden Ultimate Team and you have the flat zone um, KO ability, they'll basically be able to drop down on the, on the quick routes a lot better as well if you put these at 10 yards. I think a lot of people in the community are doing this. They're shifting to this 10 yard curl flat uh, style of defense. Now, if you take a look here, we're gonna have the hooks on five as well, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of set up a gun bunch here uh, and I'm gonna put most gun bunches will put their best wide receiver in the slot. That's kind of the key player that you need to learn how to defend. Uh, and we're gonna go over Z spot uh, and go. We're gonna go over um, the play bunch trail. And then obviously we're gonna go over flood. And then we're gonna go over, um, if I can find the play here, bench pivot is another one of the popular plays out of gun bunch, okay? And defensively, like I said, we're gonna be coming out in this 335. Now, this is basically a match a, a match quarters zone drop style of defense. Actually very interesting how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna audible this cover four show too. Okay, as you can see right here, here's the defense. Now against Gun Bunch, I like to go ahead and spread my defensive line. I think that's the best way to go. You could, there's validity to doing other things as well, but that's how we're gonna start out, okay? Now, if you take a look, if I just run this play as is, I want you to watch how the the coverage is going to play this so you'll see here that the r1 receiver is actually going to get you see right there see how the guy takes him away 
out of that, out of a match style of, of, of attack. That R1 receiver is kind of the hardest thing to guard. Let me show you, um, for example, the spacing switch. So if I audible down to that cover four show two, you're gonna see here, it's gonna change the rules into a match style of defense. We're obviously gonna you know, do something like this right here. Let's just say something like this, um, you know, and maybe we, you know, I don't even know. We'll, we'll take this guy and we'll just man him up one circle, okay? Now, if you watch this, this is bench pivot, and I want you to watch the X receiver here, which is the tight end. You're going to see that that tight end, that corner is going to drop right into a spot, and he's going to be able to take this away. So as you can see, cover four is a nice little starting point to defending this offense. Okay, cover four is a nice starting point. Now, the thing that I want you to know out of this is what if you go into, so you're in cover four show two, and now let's start getting a little bit of justy. As far as what are the problems in the gun bunch? Well, one of the problems in the gun bunch is the circle receiver, ironically. Um, depending on the type of gun bunch that you play, if they run the play flood, what you'll see is this circle receiver will oftentimes get open. Now, against this in particular coverage, he doesn't. I mean, he, he does get very close to getting open, but he doesn't quite get open on that on that play, okay? But, the, again, depending on what you do, he, he could get open on that play. So, let me show you what this would look like if we reset our zone drops, okay? So, we're just going to come out of here, and we're going to put these back on default. This is going to tell that quarters coverage to play um, match-style defense. Now, I'll tell you, this cover four match is one of the, I think, one of the biggest beasts to harness. If you can harness the beast... You can learn a lot and you can become a very effective player so uh, but anyways I, wa I want to just show you the play flood against against this if we were to set it up as is and what you'll see here is as long as we set this up properly you're gonna see that the circle receiver against a quarters coverage is gonna have a pretty good chance at basically breaking it as you can see there he gets over the top and he breaks the breaks the defense breaks it down okay now let's say for example we did something like um, let's just say we uh, let's just say we, we did something like this where we basically have this the R1 receiver going vertical we have the circle receiver you know going on a little little curl and then let's say we have the tight end going vertical as well okay so we have we have several vertical routes okay I want you to watch this again so same defense cover for match and I want you to watch what happens with the R1 receiver so if I streak the R1 receiver you're gonna see the R1 R1 receiver does not have as much success now this is also true against plays and routes combinations like that of Jets dig from the New York Jets playbook even the wiggly fade will not have as much success so really the starting point for defending gun bunch is we have to deal with the circle receiver ironically most people will try to start defending gun bunch by dealing with the slot I'm gonna tell you to start dealing with the circle receiver so all we're all we're gonna do is we're gonna man up the X linebacker onto the circle receiver as you can see right here okay now the next adjustment that I like to make is I like to take that slot corner and I like to put him into a curl flat zone just like that. And I like to take the defensive end on the bunch side, it's important that it's on the bunch side, and put him on a three rec. The reason why is let's say for example they run some type of, um, let's, say, let's say for example they run some type of like mesh post style setup where they have that motion slant. If you watch that three rec, he's gonna drop kind of right into that area and he's actually gonna match onto it. As you can see right there, he completely matches onto to the he matches onto that that route okay so that's kind of the step two so as you can see here we've taken away this the circle receiver so now but by manning this guy up by manning the circle receiver up in gun bunch it makes it very difficult to complete this so like if i go to the flood play here you're gonna see he's manned up there's no he's not open right i mean as long as my guy i mean yeah I've, he has a speed advantage but my guy's kind of there okay my guy is my guy is kind of there that's the biggest thing that i want to hit on so we've taken away uh, several things that they have. You know, we've taken away a lot of things here. You know, we've 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 taken away the we've taken away the the quarters beater. We've taken away all of that stuff. Now on the left side of the field is where things get a little interesting. So basically, what's going to happen with this defense is we've got to deal with the running back. In my opinion, the running back is probably one of the harder players to deal with. The way that I like to deal with him is by simply putting this. Um, essentially putting a seam flat and a curl flat, right? Or a curl flat and a, um, just a stock curl flat zone and a hook curl. 
And what you'll find is, let's say that they run the running back on an option route. That running back, that hook curl is going to take that away. You'll see here he comes down on it. And yeah, they can hit it, but he's going to be kind of in that area to take that away. Okay. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could basically essentially force the running back. So I like to use, if you use this guy in man to man, then you're going to want to purple zone this guy. As you see right here, you've got a curl flat. You've got the running back matched up in man-to-man -man coverage. So really all he has is like a quick out route or something. And then you have your, your three wrecks. So this is a very adjusted version of this, but it's basically, I mean, it's, it's really not that much. It's just, you're, you're essentially forcing the running back to, you know, have to really work. So for example, let's say they do something like this, where they run this little option route setup. You'll see that that curl flat will drop back into that area and take that away. As you can see right there, it takes it away. Now you might be asking, well, what do we have to, how do we deal with, or how do we, how do we worry about something like a post route to the square receiver? So let's say that they run a uh, bunch trail. Okay. Bunch trail would be a good example. So we set this coverage up, you know, basically just like we said, uh, we man up, we man up on the circle here. We've got the two purples and then we're going to basically, you know, take that man to man, man to man coverage on the running back to stop that quick throw. And then we've got the curl flat over here. Now, how does this play for the square receiver? Okay. It actually plays. Okay. Um, he isn't, he isn't man to man though. And you have to understand that, but you see how that perp, see how that inside quarter is kind of in that area. See how that inside quarter is kind of, he's kind of going to sit in that area, especially depending on what kind of route combinations they run. That inside quarter will actually play that a lot of times, okay? Um, he actually will do a decent job, okay? And we'll show you that one more time here. So again, we're just going to kind of run this mix match coverage here. And obviously we're using in the middle of field too. If we see the post route, we could go get it ourselves. But let me show you... Um, let me show you bunch trail so it's very likely that if they were running bunch trail they would run you know something to the effect of this combination right here right something like this maybe a drag underneath but you know pretty much this is going to be the the combination and then maybe they motion this guy out and i just want you to watch how this is going to play you're going to see here that your your square receiver that's going to be throwing he's going to be throwing that into zone coverage he's going to be throwing that into an inside quarter now again again i do want to stress that if that wide receiver runs to the in, like if if they're running, like for example, Flood is a great example of this. So let's say that they're running, um, let's say they're running something like this, okay? Flood, right? This is probably if you were to watch Wesley play, uh, the pro player Wesley, this is probably his favorite play, okay? This is, this is probably, I mean, honestly, and as someone that has been running some Gun Bunch and actually just released an ebook on Gun Bunch, it's probably my favorite play too. And I want you to watch what happens here. So if that right, if that receiver on the left side, if he runs an in route, right, watch the space. There's a window. There's a window right there to hit that. Okay? Because he's in man-to-man -man coverage. Because he's in man-to-man -man coverage. So what do you do? How do you counter that? Well, what you really need to do, honestly, um, is one other adjustment that you can do. So you don't really have to have this this guy right here, Jackson. He doesn't have, he's not critical to the defense, so we can put him into an inside third if we wanted to. All right, we're still gonna match up. We're still gonna basically, you know, have that coverage out there. We're still gonna have the man coverage, and we're still gonna have this kind of shell right here. All we've done is we've created essentially a cover three. All right, it, it, it's essentially a cover three with two outside quarter zones. Now what you'll see here is if they run that in route again, now, again, they're running this into an inside third. There's no vertical there. You see that he plays a lot more aggressively on that left side because he's got deep help over the top. The, deep, the game is smart enough to understand where your help is, right? The corners do understand where their help is. And so because of that, um, it's going to help out a ton in terms of how this is going to play. So another little strategy you could do, you could take Jackson. Honestly, you could do a lot of things with him. If you put him in a hook curl, you'll see he'll actually do a decent job against a lot of different things. So let me show you uh, kind of the standard Z spot setup, something like this. And I just want you to watch that tight end. Tight end is gonna release up the seam. You've gotta to go to him, but everything else is pretty much bagged, literally bagged. There's nothing open on this play. And as you can see, you get the user pick. 
So these are some little strategies that you can use when trying to defend the gun bunch. I think that these are some of the things that, um, you know, the biggest thing that you gotta watch out for, in my personal opinion, is, and this is something what, you know, as someone who likes to run gun bunch here, um, I do wanna tell you that one of the things that people do to me that really does give me a lot of trouble out of gun bunch, if I'm running this, they'll basically start their user here and then they're coming back to take this guy's solo receiver. Wherever that solo receiver goes, they're taking it. Essentially what they're doing is they're kind of baiting you to throw to the solo receiver. And I'll tell you what, I played a game of Weekend League, a guy played that on me, it was very, very difficult to move. It was very, very difficult to move. If you shut down that solo receiver and that, that running back side, the bunch side you can take care of because mostly it's, it's basically flood concepts over and over and over again. Um, and so, in my opinion, if you use something like the defense I just shared with you, and basically you just kind of make it your priority as a user to, as soon as that square receiver on that left side, that solo receiver, as soon as he cuts to the middle of the field, which is, if you think about it, you're gonna have a decent one to two seconds to user on the right side, and then you can jump back over here to the left, you can take away about 99% of Gun Bunch offenses in this game. So anyways, that's the tutorial on how to stop Gun Bunch. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get a more detailed explanation of this 335 wide defense and really a step-by-step -step guide that's going to walk you through all of the blitzes you can do from it, all the run defenses, and all of the formation-specific coverages that I would recommend, go ahead and pick up that 335 wide defensive ebook in the description. It's literally just $15, and I'm telling you right now it will take your defense to a whole nother level especially we just updated it as well if you didn't get the update um if you didn't get the update yet it is in the latest edition of this defense it has the cover four quarters uh defense about an hour and a half on quarters defense very very in-depth stuff so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on tonight's stream again if you want to get that full ebook it's in the description of this video